I need to sit down for this one. We might get sacked today. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Aston Villa career mode. An episode in which we might be getting fired. We've got Chelsea to kick off the episode, but things are looking very critical at the moment. Now, objectively speaking, I don't think we're doing that badly. If we go on to win the Premier League, I think that's pretty decent. The board, they disagree with my opinion. Even though we've fulfilled... The critical objective, get 10 clean sheets, one player, different nationality. We've done that. They're still not very happy with me because we got knocked out in the Champions League in the last episode. But I'm not being funny. I've thought about it more deeply every night in bed. But this Borussia Dortmund squad is absolutely cracked. When you look at it, it it's insane. The back line was insane. The level of players that they've managed to bring into this team in order to improve it and put them where they had Coble, 90 rated at this point. He he was a world beater. I just couldn't get the ball beyond him. Marquinhos. Darwin Nunes, the man who caused all the issues for me, got a little bit lucky. Bit of a rub of the green for two of the goals. But I'll be honest with you, when I first drew Borussia Dortmund, but not bad this, easy route through to the next round. But when you actually look at the squad, I was done dirty. This team is absolutely disgusting. It's a world beating side in the game at this stage. And unfortunately for us, our first time in the Champions League, that's the team we came up against. Now, there's going to be a lot of important games in the route for us to try and win the league in this episode, which will be the end of this season, potentially. It might be over very quickly this episode if we get sacked very early on. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy FC content, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well, lads. This is going to be another long one. Let's get into it. Now, we're only two points behind Manchester United with a game in hand, so... Theoretically, we beat Chelsea today. We leapfrog them. They're going to play again before us. But for all things considered, we do technically have the advantage against Manchester United. And when you look at our running, minus Chelsea and Manchester City and Liverpool, the running isn't that bad. These are all winnable games for us if we can find the form we need. Plus, I would love to beat Liverpool, get some revenge after the result in the FA Cup. But before we can get revenge against Liverpool, of course, we've got Chelsea coming up. Danny Olmo, three goals in the last three games. He's going to be a problem. We also have some new updated uh, Premier League banners, which is pretty cool. I like that. We're only halfway through the game cycle, but we finally got them. Obaku loses it early. Dos Martinez, big save. We already know Chelsea are going to try and pounce on the counter-attack, so we have to be really cautious of stuff like that. Oh, AK. Oh, he's got some pace, hasn't he? Wow, Maru AK's got some pace. Martinez near post. You're not going to beat him. Early signs. I am rusty. Chelsea are good. Oh, Kamara's giving it away. Not even Maru AK. Kamara, you sausage. He's been terrible in the last couple of episodes. I should have traded him for Kim Pembe. Just carelessness at the back. I can't be standing for it. We need to see better. Girl, just to lift it across. That's lovely. Ollie Watkins, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ollie? You've been in great goal scoring form. What's that? Mano AK is my big problem right now. And Fafana goes through it's two. Oh my god, we are so sloppy at the bat right now. 2 0 Chelsea. We've had some chances. But this run of form that we are carrying on after that result against Dortmund, it's hurting our chances of winning the Premier League. And this could be the nail in the coffin right here. This could be enough for the board to go, right, you sat. Because we're at home. Second half, I guess, of the comebacks. We're going to need one. Oh, Datro Fafana has done me twice. Datro Fafana has done me twice. This time, Martinez saves me. This could be more for Chelsea. They look like they're on for more. Martinez saving us again. And Grealish should take that. Grealish over the top. Lataro. Good touch. Martinez. Oh, we're right back in it. This is so tidy. And Lataro Martinez is doing what we signed him to do. I'm going to mix stuff up a little bit now as well because we need to win this game. Or at least we need to draw this game. We're going 4 4 2. Why not? I've had this formation in the back pocket for a long time and never used it. But I think now, close to the sack, needs more. Ollie pulls it back. Savio again. Savio played the ball, lad. He's played the ball. Lataro Martinez needed to be a good take. Lataro Martinez. Oh, God, that was unlucky. They left us with a really tight angle, which was clever. Let's see if I can whip in a good ball. We scored a corner last time. It was lovely. It was kind of like that one. No, 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 no. Lataro stayed down. The Oliver Watkins, edge of the box. Never going to score that. I need Lataro to get up. I'm going to have to bring off Martinez. I'm going to bring on Palvidis. I'm going to bring on Marder on as well out wide for Grealish, who is knackered. John McGinn will also come on. Let's see. In the Dynembers, we've got enough about us. Paul, inside. 
Oh, Oliver Watkins. He's going to be fouled. This is a good position. This is a really good position. If only I could do free kicks. I haven't always had Thiago Almada, though. That has to be noted. And he's good. He's very good. I'm going to try and score this with Thiago Almada. At least it's on target. There's not much time left. We need to do something now. Yeah, let's lift it. He does. It's terrible. It's a terrible ball in. That needed to be better. That will probably be the game. And it was. We weren't given another opportunity nor another attack. And we're going to lose 2-1 to Chelsea. That's the game in hand gone. Pretty much means now we're going to have to win every game up until the end of the season. But luckily for us, there is some good news. Letaro Martinez is only going to be out for five days. That's extremely good news. We're going to get back to winning ways though against Bournemouth in the next Premier League game. Where we look very good. Leon Bailey, Oli Watkins, Almada and Manu Kone with the goal. We can't follow that up with another win though. It's going to be Fulham and bloody Gittens, who should have signed for us, is going to score the winning goal. And unfortunately for us, Manchester United have kicked on with the form you would expect them to kick on with and are now sitting on 67 points. That result really against Chelsea has hurt us so much. We do bounce back though with this game against Norwich. I mean, they're sitting rock bottom, so I expected it. The Paul and Bailey with goals. Next up then is a trip to London to take on Brentford. We're going to hopefully keep the form going. I'm opting for Tadebo as the centre-back partner for John Stones as well. In this one, Kamara has just been error-prone the back end of this season. All we can do right now is just win games and just win them as convincing as possible and hope that there is a slip-up for Manchester United because we still have some really big games to play as well. Is that one up? Lataro. Back across. The Paul. Stunning. Argentinian to Argentinian. We haven't seen enough of that from Rodrigo de Paul this season. But it will be 1-0 Aston Villa here at the GTEC. Just keeping hope alive for the Aston Villa fan base that they can go on and win the Premier League. I think regardless, we're judging this on what the board is saying. But I think regardless, this has been a very good season for Aston Villa. I think you get an easier draw in the groups. Uh, well, in the knockout stage. And we go even further. And I just think we've built a very good team. And Thiago Almada will make it 2-0. And Brentford are slowly falling apart. I don't think we'll see much of this second half then. Before subs are starting to be made. Is this going to work out? The Paul into Martinez. Letaro! Oh, it does. It's stunning. It's free. The Paul has come to life out of absolutely nowhere. He's answered the call. Letaro Martinez keeps smashing the ball in the back of the net. Subs can be made now. Let's rest some players. This is a very busy last month of the season. With four subs made. See if any of these other lads can go on and have a good game. I will point out as well, Thiago Armada. I missed it. 87 overall now. Unbelievable. That kid's going to be shining for future seasons to come. If we get the future seasons, I think he'll be so important to us trying to win European football games. With Kone. Find Savio. Cuts inside. Savio! Oh, that would have been stunning. I just saw it flash on the top of the screen, lads. I just saw it flash. Manchester United are losing. They're losing 2-0, I think. Oh, my God. This is a massive game now. And the rest of the games to come will be huge as well as Palvin is over the line. That was over, was it not? Oh, my God. This is going our way, though, right now. No idea who this is. This is no player name. And I don't know why all of a sudden there was no... I need to stop doing that. I play with danger every time. This should have been a clean sheet. The game's over. We're done. We've won it. But we just give away a clean sheet for Martinez, which isn't fair. He's made some cracking saves this out. Amada. Oh, Leicester Consolations. Paul Venus. 4-1 right before the full-time whistle. It's always good to see Paul Venus getting on the act. And wow, the link up with Almada today. He's been stunning. De Paul Almada. The Argentinians we signed have just created some unreal football on this pitch. What I care about is getting out that game and seeing if Manchester United lost. And they did. They lost to Arsenal. 2-0 was the final result. They lost to Arsenal. We're gaining ground. There's four games left. Every opportunity to catch them. Will they slip up a bit? But they do. They play Southampton. Man City. So we both still have to play Manchester City, Everton and Bournemouth. So in reality, there's only the Man City game I can see them slipping up in. So we need to win every game now. But we're not going to do that as we come and draw against Palace. We're our own worst enemy. Schlupp and Ferreira, beast. 
Jack Grealish scored for us in Almada, but how do we just plot our own downfall? And oh my god, how things have changed. Manchester United are now second and Chelsea are top. Did we give them that win and they just pushed on? We're only two points behind them. This is anybody's race and Chelsea play Arsenal next. But we have to play Liverpool and Man City back to back. Now this is the two games that decide whether we stand any chance. And although Liverpool have underachieved this season... I, I still feel like this is going to be a hard one. I'm going to put Kone in because I'm a big fan. I'm going to keep Tadebo in there as well. And apart from that, it's the strongest 11 we could physically put out. But I'm choosing Leon Bailey today over Savio because I want him fit for that Manchester City game. I have to be careful of this. And that's Liverpool just bearing down on goal and just letting them have their way with us. Their wicked, wicked way with us. We can't let that... How has that gone in? How... On the physics of planet Earth and football in general, has that hit the back of the net? Somebody please, I gave him an impossible angle to score at. That's gone in. How? I'm not having it. I'm not, Emmy. just, yeah, of course that's how Emmy blocks. I'm just, I'm not having it. That is BS. That is the biggest bit of BS we've seen in a while. But there is no way that that should be a goal from that angle. And there's a no way... That he should score that against Emi Martinez, who is what, like 86 rated. Absolute insanity. Almada, knock it over. Knock it over! Oh, it was Letaro over to Almada. I wish it was the other way around. Almada now. I couldn't side, I can. Almada's been clutched with these recently and he's bent it beyond the pole. Probably should have been us going in at half time at 1 1. It, it really should have been such fine margins this season as well, to be honest with you. Of how we've conceded, we have been so unlucky in certain stages. Taro wants that ball in. He's found it. Thiago Amada, this is going to have to be spectacular. No, it's not. Yo, Matip. God, he's got some pace. Chelsea beating Arsenal as well. This is just terrible news. Might not even be Manchester United that win the title in the end. It might be Chelsea. Went down as a Martinez on goal. The Liverpool goal. This is what I'm saying. The look we seem to have at the minute against the bigger sides is just very unfair. Play it up to Watkins, who I thought for a second was offside, but that is lovely. Baku, he's got a score. Can we get it back across? We can. It's into the arms of Allison. Hit it a bit harder, Leon Bailey. Oh, that's great. Martinez, big save. Well, I really don't think we've been good enough in this one. I think we've lacked a bit of cutting edge. We've lacked a bit of cutting edge sometimes this season. We're not the finished article yet. We are definitely a top four side, but whether we are a team that should be even thinking about winning the Premier League is, you know, a different question. But all the pressure here late on is is all Liverpool. And uh, that's not what we can afford right now. Oliver Watkins wanted Garnacho to play it back into him. Oliver Watkins comes on and bags the goal that makes it one run. And the Aston Villa fans will be going wild right now. Ooh, is there time for one more? We really need to win it. Chelsea... They could still be beating Arsenal for all we know. Retzka. Oh, God, he's got a good shot on him. Three minutes added on. Oh, that had to make it through. Is there a ball on now? Go inside. Here we go. The Paul. We've got bodies. The Paul. Not wide. Miguel Gutierrez. Back to the Paul. Oh, slide it in. This is it. Leon Bailey. He's been terrible all game. That's the flag up. It's not. It's going to be 2-1. Aston Villa in the dying embers of the game. We are going to beat Liverpool and we're going to keep our hopes alive of finishing top of the Premier League. They pushed so many bodies forward. And Leon Bailey, the man who has been horrendous. I thought about bringing him off. He's been terrible all game. He's going to be the man that breaks down Liverpool here at Anfield and gives us a famous win against Liverpool. I know Aston Villa have had quite a few of them. A recent one that was a pretty big one, but this one, there will be no bigger. Massive result there. I guess the question is, did Chelsea beat them? They didn't. Chelsea lost to Arsenal. Are you kidding me? Aston Villa sit back top of the Premiership. A game in hand on uh, Chelsea, which is brilliant, but we still need Manchester United to slip up and we still need to beat Man City. This is an insane title race, lad. We're getting transfer <laughs> offers from Man City. to Debo. I don't think so. I think Debo. We'll take the starting spot from Kamara next season. Two games left then. Man City, West Ham. Both decide our fates. Man City will also decide our fate when they take on Manchester United. And games have been played and Manchester City beat Man United. So as long as we beat Man City, we have the, the title is in our hands. We beat Man City, we beat West Ham, we are champions. God, this makes it big. They're tired. Okay, they're playing McAtee as well. It's a little bit rotated. Still a very good, strong 11. I imagine as long as we get a point from this game, we're actually good. I think that would 
we'd be good on goal differently. Watkins came on and scored. What do you do? Do you start him? Almada's been brilliant recently. I, it's a big question. We know we want Savio in. Well done, Leon Bailey, in the last one, but in the build-up to that, I wasn't happy. Uh, I did want to Debo in. Can't today. It's going to have to be Kamara. Apart from that, it is, it's a strong 11. I think it's fair as well to keep Ollie Watkins on the bench just to kind of be like a gut punch if we need to bring someone on to do that. Ollie Watkins is perfect at that. We're at home. It's Villa Park to take on Manchester City. We played really well recently. And we want to just continue that really against Man City here. If it could be more comfortable than the Liverpool game, I would love that. Can you imagine this is the title race in the Premier League? I mean, we're going to have a good one in real life, which is which is fantastic to see because I don't feel like we've had a really good one in recent years. But to have one here on game as well, you, you usually don't get this. To have this many teams in in the race at this stage is just unbelievable. Letaro. Oh my God, you don't want him being played. Bearing down on goal. Letaro Martinez. He's going to make it 1-0. Aston Villa on the break. Maybe against the run of play. Who gives a damn? Letaro makes it 1-0 Aston Villa. Pivotal signing this year as well. And we'll see it when we look at the, the figures at the end. But he's been very good on assists and on goal. And there's definitely one thing, big games. He's been a big game player. He, he kind of gets that. And uh, I love it. Oh my god, I'm harder. That's filthy. Grealish. Oh. Oh, that was on the edge. How close is this one? I feel like this is super close. I thought it was being played. Not that close, is it? Davio. It's a good position for him. Look at this. Look at this footwork from him. Slide it in. Oh, that's great. He plays that one inside. Haaland's been found. Block him off, Kamara. Block him off, Kamara. Well done, Kamara. Armada found Savio. This is very much at the end of the half. Savio bearing down on goal now. Savio saved. Litaro is there to tap in. 2-0 at half time. That is huge. And only games ago, we were talking about how this race was over. Savio definitely should finish this. He needs to work on that. He's good at getting in the positions, not as clinical. But Letaro, when you need him, has been an absolute rock for me. Oh, here they come. Start the second half. John Stones blocks it. Kamara can clear it. Taro now. He's happy just to look at this. He'll just jog behind him and he'll play it out wide to Savio, who is just a danger man. Don't want him in your face. That's beautiful. He's onside. Baku. <gasps> it's stunning. It's 3-0. Man City are falling apart. Aston Villa are marching towards the Premier League title. And what a goal from Riddell Baku. He's been so good for me since we signed him. But just Savio again. He's just a scary man. He's not great in front of goal. But apart from that, he's scary. It was a scary finish from Riddell Baku as well. He might be... Uh, Moving on to win this title in style, unless we go and just lose to West Ham. That could always happen. For back-to-back -back games, we're going to be allowed to rest key assets. And I mean, the bench is strong. Minamino, Watkins, Garnaccio coming on. As well as Peters, a right midfielder from Belgium at the academy. Had to promote a few because they were getting unhappy. Going to give him a chance. Hubaku found Mason Mount. Get that one up to Peters for the first time. Peters do. Ooh, has he timed it? I think he has. Riddell Baku brings it back. Ollie Watkins! Oh, that would have been huge. Onzo Davis is very quick. We know this already. Pop ball in. John Stones, though, he landed to Diaby. Oh, well saved. The last thing I want is Diaby bagging a goal because he definitely celebrate. They don't have that in this game. They should, but they don't. And uh, he would definitely celebrate. Pull that back. Lovely. And then play it, Garnacho. Oh, he played it nice. Ollie Watkins is nice with this. Oliver Watkins is 4-0. Manchester City destroyed on the break. It's not the Man City we know right now. There's been some changes, but wow. Ollie Watkins bagging a goal. Huge moment for him. Massive season for him. He's going to get to have been here and potentially won a Premier League with Aston Villa, which is massive. He could not have been in this squad if he hadn't performed this season. And he's earned this. He's earned every right for this. He's making me want to play him. In, in the West Ham game. It's making me want to do the Martinez Watkins link up. Now let's see where that result puts us in the table. Manchester United drew. Okay, so it's, it's all about Chelsea, really. But I think with Manchester United drawing, we might have won the league. Okay, so mathematically, mathematically, we haven't won the league. I mean, we have because of goal difference. We could lose this game and Manchester City win it and we would have still won the league. But Manchester United and Chelsea now cannot win the league. Only Manchester City can. And we have to face West Ham at home. So we're going to get to lift the trophy here at home against West Ham. This is you. I'm not sure if we win this. If it stops this being critical. It's got worse. 
said it was at the end of last episode, but I think if I win the Premier League, maybe I just keep on to my job. That or we win the Premier League and then lose our job, which is fine because we end the series in a blaze of glory. I'd already made the decision. It's going to have to be Watkins and Martinez. They they just deserve it. It's going to be Savio. He, he's been too good for me. And I think it's going to have to be McGinn as well. McGinn has to be on the pitch for this one. We do have some new stars in the team, but I, I want the old ones to get a little bit of love. I'm going to actually play to Debo over Kamara. And I'm toying with the idea of who's going to be my captain. That is, uh, that's my problem right now. The Paul had a big part in this season, but I'm not so sure. And I'm going to actually have uh, Minamino on the bench potentially to bring on. I feel like the captain should be Grealish. I said it would be Grealish when he come back to the club. Um, so I think we're going to make Grealish the captain for this one. And he'll get to lift the trophy as long as he doesn't get injured. Here we go then. Is this the day that Aston Villa, Yorkies Aston Villa, our Aston Villa, don't forget that. Smash the like button. You guys all deserve it just as much as I do. But this is our Aston Villa. Let's see if we can lift the title. Is that the day? Is today the day that Taro Martinez, the big transfer of this entire career mode so far? They could get bigger next season. If we do a next season, they could get bigger. We might do a vote actually for another season. We don't always have to win the Champions League in these series if you guys think this has kind of run its course. But I, I've enjoyed this one. It's been a really difficult one, which I kind of needed after that Spurs career mode. And the next one is going to be even more difficult because I, I think that one's a 6-7 a seasoner kind of save. At least a five-season save. So I think the next one's going to be a pretty tough challenge. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I welcome the challenge. Hopefully, you guys are welcoming the longer videos. I was telling more of the story of the season over, like, one video. I'm actually enjoying this format more because I don't feel the stress of getting videos out as much because I already know I can't get videos out as much as I used to. So, the fact that I don't have to stress as much now is lovely. Letaro's never going to win that header. That is such a shame that it landed to Letaro. Is that a ball into Savio? Of course it is. And guess what Savio does? Some magical stuff. Absolutely magical side in 1-0. Oh my god, John again scoring there. That would have been lovely. I would love to go and win this title by just some kind of ridiculous performance. That was nice. That was super nice. Letaro is in. I mean, the way he strikes the ball, the way he hits the shot, when you get in that position, you'll you'll feel it yourselves when you have any other striker. Any other normal striker. When he gets there and I press circle, or it might be B for you, I know that's going in. I know without a doubt in my mind when he gets in that position, he's going to hit that so sweetly it's going to go in without me doing anything. And we definitely want to go ahead and win the title the right way. And that's by winning. We want to win the title. We want to show out. Again, back in the team. He's barely played this season, but it's so good to have him back in. Jack Grealish now. Throwing down on goal. Score it. Why not? Oh, thought I'd give it a go. But one and a half down. One to go. And I want more goals, to be honest. I want more goals. I'd love Grealish to get one. And McGinn, potentially. Or Oli. Just any of the old guard. Owen. Inside. The DA. Oh, God. Big save, Martinez. Oh, Man City are winning 4-0 as well. They're trying to, trying to catch the goal difference. But that result will not do them any favours. As Savio brings this forward. And lofts it in towards Oli Watkins. Who will hit the post. Litaro. Oh, my God. Second ball again. I cannot believe how lucky West Ham have just got there. But that's it, lad. We are going to be crowned Premier League champions. And you know... For damn straight, I gotta stand up. I have to stand up for the trophy left. We have to do it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. We started this one, sat down, dejected on our desk. We are ending this one, stood up, watching the lads celebrate and cheer. Uh, hopefully me keep my job, surely, after winning the Premier League. That's uh, probably number one thing I want to happen. But what a result. What a turnaround. There was a point there after the Chelsea game. I thought that was it. We don't stand a chance. Then the Crystal Palace draw. We don't stand a chance. But look, look at the majestic trophy. Look at the majestic trophy. I'm facing the wrong bloody way. That Jack Grealish is about to lift for us. I've never been more excited. Well, I have. The Leeds being promoted this year will definitely make me more excited. But there we go. Aston Villa, Premier League champions. Absolutely torture to get to this point in this save. I'm not even going to lie, but that man right there was pivotal, Letaro Martinez. And that man, Emi Martinez, was pivotal as well to the success. But Jack Grealish had the, the best season I think he's ever had in an Aston Villa strip this year. He was unbelievable. I, 
I absolutely adored using him in the save this season. He's been he's been so good, honestly. I I don't even know what to say. He's been different class. I didn't think he'd be that good. Someone said swap him from number nine. But he's started as number nine since he come back. I'm I'm just giving him it. It's fine. Our number nine, Jack Grealish. I know it might it might hurt some of you. I'm not a numbers guy. We could swap it for next season. If there is a next season, we could still get sacked here. There's also the addition. Give me the comments down below, lads, that we just end it here. We win the Premier League title. It was a great season. And we just walk away from this save and we start the next one. I'm going to keep with this format that we've been doing because I, I really like it. I'm really enjoying it. But that is an option. Now, we should see in the coming days if we get sacked or not. That should be made clear to me. Uh, we're still critical. I'm just going to advance a little bit and see if we stop being critical. Is Real Madrid are going to come in for Tadebo. No, I want him to be my starter next season. He's part of a Premier League championship winning side. Uh, we'll, we'll see if the bids keep coming in. But the objective hasn't changed. And we're still sat at critical and, and 43. So that makes me feel like we're going to be sat. Let's look at the player stats first. And we'll start with the top goal scorer, Letaro Martinez. I, I pointed it out. As we came into the clutch time at the end of the season, Letaro Martinez stepped it up a level. Eight assists this season as well. 19 goals. In terms of goal contributions, I couldn't have asked for more. It's fantastic. Ollie Watkins, stand out yet. He went up by two at the age of 30. So I did a video not that long ago showing that people can still grow, can still have this growth. And he's just proven that right. Jack Grealish, though, there. Third in the list of top goal scorers. Honestly, outstanding season. He just really was different this year. He, he was different class at 30. He's gone up to 87 now. And uh, I think he'll continue next season. Almada, stunning year for him. Up by 325. The Argentinian uh, really kicking on now. Leon Bailey, I didn't particularly like him this year. I thought he was sloppy. Once I got my hands on Savio and how well he controlled on the ball, having Leon Bailey, it was super difficult because he is, he is just a lot of pace. And Savio is just different. Look at that. Six assists. And there's a reason why we've got six assists with him. Because of how good he is on the ball. Um, on the other side, Garnaccio. Not a failed experiment because he's 21. And there's still plenty of time to go in Garnaccio's career for him to continue to grow and me to grow to like him. But he, he wasn't the signing. I thought Paul Vida's three goals. Uh, and we'll just quickly skip through the rest. Eight, 85 now for Mano Kone. There is uh, some stuff I would definitely change next year. I think we'd have to start thinking about Emmy's position at 33 and, and how we need somebody else to come through. Maybe another left back to back up Gutierrez. Uh, and then at centre back, there's questions. 32, John Stones, 28, Konza. Uh, Kamara for me wasn't good enough this year, so potentially would let him go. And Tadebo, who submitted a transfer request, would be made happy by just becoming... The start at the club. Uh, Baku Lampety happy with that. Uh, midfield, McGinn now, he, he's getting on. We probably need another player there. And Mount, I'm just... Sometimes I like him, sometimes I don't. So I would probably start playing Kone over Mount. And then I would probably start bleeding in Doof over Mount, potentially. Uh, I, I don't know. We've got Alex Short coming back. Uh, we've got Allison coming back as well. So these two had really, really good loans. And they're both fantastic players. Uh, we've got other prospects to go out on loan. Uh, Jack Grealish is getting on a little bit, but I still feel like that position between them and him being the understudy, I would replace Leon Bailey. Uh, Minamino, he's he's staying. I gave him a new contract. And Almada is a beast. So there's no issues there. And Fowler, Fowler with just half a season of a loan would come back at 80. So we have our backup there instantly off the bat. Lejeune goes out on loan. And then Watkins, he gets another year. He gets another year because of how well this year went. We have another crack at the Champions League. Uh, Duran probably moves on and he's sold. I and mean, we probably at some point would have to bring in another striker, a youngster, because I do want to use the 4 4 2 more. Now, all that's left to do, I think, is, is let's skip forward and let's see if we keep our job. Now, I don't think I've actually ever kept my job when we've hit critical in the past. I, I, I genuinely don't. So it might make me wait until the end of the season here. But the fact that it's let me get here is making me think I'm going to keep my job, which, if I'm being honest, is actually a good thing from the objective standpoint because it means they don't have as much of an impact as they used to do. Normally, critical, you're gone. But it looks like I'm keeping my job. Because we achieved some of the objectives that were needed to be done, i.e. Premier League, we're going to be given another season as Aston Villa manager. But that's where we need to leave it. Do we do another season? That's for you to let me know down below. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for the support and love on this series so far. I'm really enjoying bringing it to you, especially in this new format. I will see you now for either the start of season number four with Aston Villa, or I will see you in the new save. Appreciate you all. Take care. Much love from me.